Hello everyone, welcome to News Niger, where we bring you latest um, happenings in sports, entertainment, celebrity gossips, and politics um, in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Um, this hour we have this news, uh, a rather sad one I would say. It says a university lecturer commits suicide after a prolonged marital crisis. Well, we know that he's a lecturer from this headline and we know that he's had issues in his marriage. But is that enough reason to commit suicide? Let's read the body of this story to find out more. Um, the beginning part says, Tragedy struck the Premier University of Nigeria, that's the University of Ibadan, the first university in Nigeria, when Mr. A. Ozubai, who recently resigned without notice as a lecturer of the Department of Mathematics of the University of Ibadan, but still lives within the university, died under circumstances believed to be suicide at his staff quarters located on Philipsons Road, UI. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess this is uh, the beginning part, but it still doesn't tell us the exact uh, the circumstances surrounding his death. Sources say that Zuber had been battling depression for years due to challenges in his home and career. Okay, so we have more news now. Talks about his he was having issues also in his career, but he's a UI lecturer. UI lecturers are like the most simple in the world. Everybody knows that. Um, but here's the statement from a fellow lecturer of his. Uh, he talked to um news reporters. He talked to them about what he knows about this lecturer, and he says he already resigned, but was still living on campus. His family had issues relating to child care. He was a lecturer one and had been on his PhD for 22 years. But he has supervised a lot of people who had overtaken him on the wrong while he remained rooted on the same spot. Okay, now this is another challenge that he's faced. Stagnation. Lecturer one is like the lowest level of being a lecturer. You have lecturer two and on and on like that and become professor or uh, or something else what have you but he's been on his phd for 22 years so he's not even a doctor yet for 22 years i feel like this is not enough reason to still take your own life there's still more to achieve you know just i feel that he's he must be a young person but well he maybe he had battled this for 22 years and thought that look this is too much for me. I can't go on anymore. What do you think? What if you put something in the comment section? What do you think about this tragic end of a promising lecturer, very intelligent, who has also mentored other people and supervised other people who well may have seemed like they overtook him. But I think that's something to be proud of. You have people who are now um, better off, who are achieved, who have become lecturers, maybe professors, because in 22 years you must have produced professors. Um, you shouldn't have just ended your life like this. So this is the part that talks about his career. The next paragraph says, the wife sued him and the court ruled in her favor, giving a directive that 60,000 should be, should be paid from his salary every month. So he thought, well, if he resigned, there will be no salary to draw money from. His death wasn't straightforward, the lecturer said. Like he slept during the day, died during the sleep. His house was engulfed by smoke and he was asphyxiated, said the lecturer who asked not to be named. Okay, so this person is his friend or a fellow lecturer who knew uh, Mr. A. Ozubar very well at the University of Ibadan, uh, I think the Department of Mathematics. He knew him very well. So this is what he has come out to say about his incident or the incident about the death of the lecturer i still feel that this is well it's a whole lot for a man but come on we're nigerians we are resilient people we don't this is not our thing <laughs> this is not our thing we talk about issues that we go through we seek counseling i in my opinion thought that he should have um looked for counseling spoken to somebody Rather than taking these irrational um, actions, resigning your job um, because you have to pay 60000 naira to your wife, feeling bad that for 22 years you had not gotten your PhD and all that, well, having issues with whom to take care of the child and your wife got, got the favor and now you feel so bad and so many other things. In my opinion, you should have looked for help and i think every other person out there will agree with me if you agree with me please put it down in the comment section let me know what you think 
um, about this tragic story. It's really, it's a very, very tragic one. Very, very sad. Very, very painful. Painful for the university. Painful for the family. Painful for his friend. Painful for Nigeria. I mean, this is not a good way to die. Suicide is not the best way to die. Um, better to seek counseling. Better to seek help than to do this. This is not. This is not right at all. Okay, so. Um. I would also like you before I end this session comment and then also subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed to this channel and click the notification button so you'll be the first to be notified once we have news updates popped up here I will be back shortly with more news good news tragic news whatever news entertainment news but I will be back shortly with more news to keep you abreast stay tuned